I'm really proud to represent um, our community. Um, for me, I'm really proud that I can be myself and, and be authentic within myself and also have the respect of my teammates and the whole rugby league community. When you look at inclusion, it's really about ensuring that our environments, our sporting environments are open to everyone. I know initially uh, when I was young, I was really worried about what people might think of me, but um, again, I go back to wanting to be my true self and uh, what I found through, through being authentic was that actually people were really quite accepting, accepting and welcoming of me and, and who I am. So yeah, that was a real bonus and I found that the sporting communities are really welcoming um, to, to all people in terms of inclusivity. I think the Rugby League World Cup has the power to bring people together because of the way that they are ensuring that everyone is included, the men's, the women's, the wheelchair, all the tournaments, but also throughout the communities and ensuring that um, everyone is, is part of this Rugby League World Cup and, and from a global sense it's going to be one of the best tournaments ever. I think that's, that's really going to set the platform and the standard for other sporting entities to hopefully follow. She's a world-class athlete. I just hope that the uh, Rugby League World Cup shows other sporting um, entities around inclusion uh, on a global stage, ensuring that you know everybody can play um, and that we focus on people's abilities. Um, I think it's really important that um, we ensure that our sporting communities are open to all. Captain gets it done, good. Just to have the courage to be your authentic self and, and not try to hide uh, or suppress anything around how you might be feeling about certain things. Um, yeah, just have the courage to be brave and, um, and represent yourself proudly.